everybody um, in Newfoundland who's been overloaded with snow. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from Newfoundland myself. I come from the west coast though. I don't know um, exactly how much snow they have there or if the storm even hit them. But I'm going to show you a recipe on how to make Newfoundland snowballs. So this is what they look like. Um, they're, it's like chocolate, oatmeal, coconut, rolled in coconut. Um, and they're so good and they're super popular in Newfoundland. And so I'm going to show you how to make them today. So if you're watching this and you're not from Newfoundland, then here's a really awesome Newfoundland recipe for you to try. They are really, really good. So um, you're going to need a saucepan of some kind and you're going to start with, I have a half a cup of butter here. There was a recipe that I used that called for um, a whole cup, but I found that to be a little bit much. So um, in my recipe, I'm going to use a half a cup. So you're going to put that into your um, saucepan along with a cup of white sugar. So you're gonna put your white sugar in with that as well. And also your one cup of milk. So I have a cup of milk here and I'm gonna pour that in. Um, I know the east coast of Newfoundland is overloaded with snow, so I thought, you know what? Um, doing a little video on how to make snowballs will be really, really appropriate for that. Um, some of you will notice I don't have much of a Newfoundland accent. I've been out of Newfoundland now for like 10 years, I think. Um, I really, really, really miss home. And um, I really wish I had more of a Newfoundland accent. And I can definitely put on a, a bit of an accent for sure. Um, I guess I'm influenced by other people that I hear talk. Sometimes we're, we're kind of influenced in that way. But anyway, here we are. I am from Newfoundland, I am a Newfie. <laughs> I put on a Newfoundland shirt, my Newfoundland hat, and here I am. And just to give you a Newfoundland phrase, these are some shocking good, seriously. Okay, so you have all of these ingredients in your saucepan, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it to a boil on the stove. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so here we are, and I have uh, my mixture on the stove and it's not quite to a boil yet, it's trying. Um, and I have three tablespoons of cocoa powder here, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in. And let me just grab a spoon here. You guys are all troopers back home. I'm so proud of you, everyone's working together and um, totally the Newfoundland spirit. I know in lots of places, whether there's a a hurricane somewhere or a storm that happens uh, somewhere. Sorry, the lighting coming from that window is not very good. Um, oftentimes people um, really help each other out in times of difficulty, but it just seems like no matter what happens in Newfoundland, there doesn't even have to be a storm or difficulty happening. Um, people are just willing to help people out. They're willing to help strangers out, let them into their home. And I know that's how I always grew up and my mom was a Perfect. My parents were perfect examples of um, showing hospitality to people. And so it just seems to be the attitude of um, the Newfoundland culture and the Newfoundland people, and I'm just so proud of that. That's awesome. All right, we're heating up here. We're just going to keep stirring and mix in that cocoa. Now, maybe I would actually maybe suggest that you mix it, that you put the cocoa in first. I had forgot to do that, so I just put it in now but it'll still work. Um, you can just mix in all the clumps and it's coming to a boil there now. All right, the pictures are great that I'm seeing from Newfoundland, they're so fun. I'm sure that there have been difficulties for some people there, it's not all fun. Um, lots of times we see pictures that are a lot of fun, uh, great, great pictures, but some people I'm sure are struggling, but hang in there. All right, we are. We have a little boil happening here, so I'm gonna turn off my stove, and then we're going to add, I have three cups of oatmeal here, so we're gonna add three cups of oatmeal to this. Now, I have a gas oven, so when the heat is off, the heat is off. <laughs> um, some of the electric ovens, you're, you'll notice that your, um, your, whatever you're cooking will, will continue to boil or cook for a few minutes because it's still hot underneath. And also I'm gonna add a cup of coconut. So you're gonna go and go ahead and add that. And put the pot around here. And then 
you're just gonna mix that all in. And then what I like to do, once you mix it in, um, it might be a good idea just to let it sit for a little bit because it is quite hot and uh, you're gonna want to have it cool enough so that you can touch it because you're gonna roll this um, concoction into little balls. So there we go. So it's all mixed in and it's gonna look something like this, kind of like a chocolate hash. <laughs> Um, so there we are. All right. So we'll let that cool for a little bit and I'll get back. Okay, we're back. So I actually have put my batter, if you want to call it that, in the fridge. Uh, it was probably in there for maybe an hour, but you don't have to leave it in there that long. It really only has to be cool enough to, um, to be able, so, you're, so you don't burn your hands really. But the colder it is, the firmer it is, so it's probably going to be nice and easy for me to pick it up and roll them into little balls. And yeah, so here we are. It's here we are. <laughs> and I'm going to get started. So I have a spoon here. It's a tablespoon. So I'm going to take a good heaping tablespoon. And this is the messy part and the fun part. You're going to roll them into balls, whatever size you want. So I'm just going to pull a little bit off that one. And you want them just to be the perfect size. So you're gonna roll them into little balls, kind of like that. And then I have some extra coconut here. So I'm gonna put it in there and just shake it around. And ta-da, here we go, here they are. Here's one of them. So I'm going to finish making, so it's such a simple recipe, it literally is. I have it memorized. Um, and they're just a really great little snack, little treat. And so, yeah, so let's, let's make another one. Let me see again. I'm sure everyone on the east coast of Newfoundland can make all kinds of snowballs now. There's definitely plenty of snow for it. Here where I am in southern Ontario, there's literally nothing. And one thing that I really, really miss is the snow in Newfoundland. Because I was definitely, I was a skier. I lived in Steady Brook, Newfoundland. So I was right near Marble Mountain and we skied all the time, all the time. And we absolutely loved, loved it. We loved snowmobiling out in the woods and doing boil ups and all that stuff. Like going up in the mountains and swimming in the mountains and we just had a blast. And so I love the snow. I love being adventurous and around here, there's not a lot of snow. <laughs> There's a lot of farmer's fields that would be really good for snowmobiling, but some properties you can't go on and yeah, we don't even have a snowmobile, but anyway, Newfoundland is amazing. If you're watching this and you're not from Newfoundland, um, definitely plan a trip because, you know, I ask a lot of people, have you ever been to Newfoundland? They're like, well, we almost went or we've been as far as Nova Scotia and well, yes, Nova Scotia is a beautiful province to be in, but you have to hit Newfoundland. Like Newfoundland is amazing it's the most homey hospitable place on the planet as far as i'm concerned so so here we are here's the recipe and we are gonna finish rolling these snowballs and please um put in some comments or something let me know if you've tried these these are really really good and they're really simple and i really really hope you enjoy them all the best to all my fellow Newfies back home. You guys are troopers. Um, I've just heard so many amazing stories and I am like, I'm so proud to be called a Newfoundlander or a Newfie. I'm totally okay with that term. <laughs> all right, have a really, really great day.